Testosterone replacement therapy in women right now is controversial for the following reasons. It's not FDA approved, which means there's not a female dosing schedule that providers can reliably follow. There also isn't a delivery system that is created for women. So there's no transdermal patch and the cream, even if you're doing a pump, oftentimes that's for male dosing. Next, this is a very potent medication. It's actually a controlled substance in the same class of medications as narcotics. So you know it's very powerful and has to be monitored frequently if you decide to use it. And this is precisely why I don't recommend pellets. And third, we can actually do things to increase your body's own natural testosterone production. And so we balance estrogen and progesterone and we focus on precursors that would become testosterone. Things like DHEAS and also supporting the adrenal gland because that is the secondary gland for producing your own testosterone. And then we retest and correlate with symptoms. We give it a good 90 days. We talk with you about what your what you're struggling with, what you're hoping to achieve by increasing your testosterone level, and then we have an educated discussion. So if you're sick of struggling and trying to figure this out on your own, we actually have a free community and Abby and I go live every single Friday. So comment the word community and join us now.